Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about AI tools that significantly help me to enhance my productivity, both in terms of software engineering and also content creation. This video does not include any paid promotions. This is purely made with an intent to share the knowledge. Basically, I have been using these five AI tools for some time now, and I found them greatly beneficial. So I thought I should share these five AI tools with all of my subscribers. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first tool or the first SaaS platform that I have today is bold.new. So I briefly talked about bold.new couple of months ago, and it is still my favorite. As a software engineer, I need demo applications to demonstrate my proof of concepts. Similarly, as a content creator, I need demo applications to implement CI CD or DevSecOps or Kubernetes for my YouTube content. For both of these purposes, bold.new can do great job to generate demo applications. Basically, it can set up demo projects for you. They have some example prompts, for example, build a mobile application or start a blog or create a portfolio website. You can use any of such instructions to generate demo applications, but let me show you how I use it. I'll show you with a real example. So I'm working on a DevSecOps project for my YouTube channel, which will be out maybe tomorrow or sometime in this week. So I have used a lot of demo applications which are open sourced from GitHub and other sources. For example, e-commerce, two tire, three tire, multiple demo applications. And this time I wanted to do something different. So basically I was looking for a unique application, which is very easy to adopt by any user. So I was searching for tic-tac-toe demo applications on GitHub. I could not find anything that is in the running state. And of course, writing this application is not at all something that I'm interested in because it is going to take two to three days where my focus is DevSecOps implementation, not the application. So I went to bold.new, which like I told you, I have been using it for some time now. And I asked it to generate this tic-tac-toe application. So whatever I required, like with documentation, with a detailed instructions on how to run the application, it could not do for the very first time. I will be very honest here, but it was able to set up all that for me within four to five iterations. And of course, prompt engineering plays a very critical role here. I will be doing videos on prompt engineering as part of AI assisted DevOps series. But for now, let me tell you with multiple iterations, four to five iterations, I was able to run this application and it was running perfectly fine. So it generated a clear documentation of how to run this application locally. And when I tried it, along with the source code, it was able to run the application on my local machine. And I also checked the package versions that it used, and it was also using latest or supported packages and versions. So you can also assume to a point, it can generate secure code. So this is how I use bold.new for my demo applications or even for my YouTube related content. Previously, it used to take a lot of time for me because although these applications were open sourced by some companies or some GitHub organizations, but when you try to run them locally, you will face a lot of issues. Sometimes they are not updated. Sometimes they do not meet your requirements. Let's say you want to run it on AWS, but AWS related documentation is not available. Whereas with bold.new, you can interact with it. 
let's say you want to update something related to the project you can interact with it here you can provide some prompts you can ask it to generate things specific to your requirement so this is the first ai tool which i find very beneficial of course there are other things like this like devin to some extent does the same thing there is also uh, open open ai operator cloud but bold.new is something that i found very flexible one important thing to mention it is not completely free it provides you with some tokens basically if you want to generate one or two demo applications per day you can easily do it if you are good at prompt engineering otherwise you might be able to only generate one application through bold.new and you can easily download it here click on export and download the source code you can also upload it to your github repository after that you either need to wait for one day or you have to take a subscription of it because i need to work more on such tools to enhance my productivity both managing content creation and also managing my office related work you know i am planning to upgrade to an subscription version of it anyways let's say you cannot uh, buy a subscription or you don't want to buy a subscription and you need a similar kind of ai tool then the option that you are looking for is github copilot workspace right now it's in technical preview you can request access to it if you don't have access and all that you need to do is click on get started once you get access to it and click on create a new repository or choose existing repository so the thing with github copilot workspace is that you can choose a repository from github and you can make contributions to it as well if you are an aspiring open source contributor this is exactly what you are looking for because using github copilot workspace you can choose any of the open source repositories go for existing issues on that repository and ask copilot workspace to help you fixing those bugs let me show how it works so let's ask it to create a new repository and you need to provide a prompt let me provide a simple prompt with the interest of time so i'll say create a tick tick tack to basic project with detailed documentation of how to run it locally and make sure the project has good unit test coverage okay the reason why i'm adding this make sure the project has good unit test coverage that means you can ensure at least the code is in the stable state and mostly when unit tests are available that means the code is in working state that's why i intentionally asked it to generate the unit tests so this is some interesting part of prompt engineering you also need to know how to get the output from ai tools now there are two steps first is click on brainstorm so when you click on brainstorm it will provide you with couple of ideas so this is something that's not available with bold.new where it provides you some suggestions do you want basic implementation with python do you want web based implementation with flask or do you want gui graphical user interface with a uh, tkinter right so i can say that let's uh, go for web based implementation with flask so i need to add this to the task and then generate a plan now this is interactive way of creating a project of course that is missing in bolt because uh, by default bolt can create project uh, generate the code for you and then you can communicate with it here interactively whereas with github copilot workspace you have little more flexibility cool so once the plan is generated then click on implement selected files 
if you don't want a particular file you can also disable that and you can say not to generate that file and once this is generated you can see here uh, it is generating the files it is adding the unit test cases it is adding the documentation and once all of it is done you will see a green button here click on create repository and it will create a github repository for you so if you want to uh, build good portfolio websites or let's say if you want to build great demo projects and put them in github github copilot workspace is going to help you a lot but if you compare github copilot workspace with bold.new i would probably rate bold.new little higher because most of the times when i played with both of these ai tools the code that is generated by bold.new is up to date and also it is in the working state it also offers a preview where even before you run it locally and try to deploy it on your machine you can actually look at the preview that is provided by bold.new so that you get a sense of confidence that the code works when you run it locally on the other side github copilot workspace is currently completely free so you have both of these options you can pick up which one works for you the next ai tool that i have for this video is chat gpt i know some of you might be surprised and some of you might be thinking cloud over chat gpt to be honest if it is about programming i would rate cloud over chat gpt but for programming i already use bold.new github copilot workspace github copilot when it comes to chat gpt i basically use it for engaging conversation with it let me explain let's say i'm learning kubernetes so i use chat gpt to ask it questions related to the design of kubernetes why the person who designed kubernetes did not think in a particular way but thought in the way it is currently designed so i ask it a lot of questions related to the design and architecture and chat gpt shines in that aspect i tested the same things with cloud and other ai assistants i personally find chat gpt much better to ask questions related to a particular design i use chat gpt on my desktop i use it on my mobile phone i use it related to content creation and also beyond that for regular general knowledge or for questions related to geopolitics i use chat gpt so this is something that i use on my day to day basis then the fourth one is github copilot so the second one that i suggested was github copilot workspace and the fourth one that i am talking about is github copilot it's basically an extension so if you just go to your visual studio code and search for github copilot you will find this extension and you just need to install it and sign up with your github account now this is amazing ai extension there is also an alternative which is called cursor ai but cursor ai although it's great it's not completely free whereas for the code that we write github copilot is completely free and it explains the code to the extent that we need let's say i don't understand a particular piece of code why i use it when i'm working with open source projects you know it's very difficult to spend a lot of time understanding the project now that i'm doing multiple things so what i do is first i go to a particular file where i feel there is a bug and i start asking github copilot to explain the code if you simply try to do this for example i over over this div and if i just look for copilot and ask it to explain the code it can completely explain the code using gpt 4o and even it can address it that is it can try to fix it it can add test to it so that when you are trying to contribute 
or when you are trying to fix a piece of code, this is going to help you a lot. Again, it also comes with the terminal so that you can interact with it and you can ask it questions. It also supports multiple languages so that you can also ask it questions in your mother tongue. Yeah, I would highly encourage everyone to start using uh, GitHub Copilot because it's free and it is just an extension in your IDE. Finally, the last platform that I usually use on the day-to-day -day basis is the one that you're seeing on the screen. That is Eraser. Now, again, there are a lot of options in this space, but I'm quite used to Eraser where if you just click on this plus icon and ask it to draw a diagram, especially when you are designing something, let's say I want to design a diagram for my CI/CD pipeline, or let's say I want to draw branching strategy. All that I have to do is I have to go to this diagram generation prompt and I just have to tell it create a design diagram for branching strategy in GitHub where I want to use main branch feature branch release branch and hotfix branch. Of course, I know that I have not provided a detailed prompt that is with interest of time. And when I just click on generate, you can see here it is analyzing my input and it started drawing the design diagram. Now I can just take this design diagram. Let me explain how I work. So once I find this design diagram, perfect. Okay, if I if this is not perfect, I would again provide it with some prompts and I would try to get it corrected. Once I find this correct, what I do is I take a screenshot of, screenshot of it. I go to chat GPT, upload the screenshot and ask it to generate the complete documentation for the design diagram so that I am able to write a blog in just a couple of minutes. Of course, couple of minutes is not the right statement, but at least I can write it much faster. I am designing the diagram using a razor and I am uploading that picture to chat GPT and I'm asking it to generate the complete design documentation. A catch here, uh, eraser is not completely free. Uh, if you are using a free account, uh, you can generate, I think, four to five design diagrams per day. Otherwise, if you are a content creator, you can pick up a subscription of it or you can look for alternative alternatives of eraser. I'm quite used to it. I'm using it for a long time uh, for my uh, drawing pad as well. So I'm just using it. Otherwise, there are multiple alternatives. So these are the five AI tools. I also suggested alternatives to it. So I feel you found this video informative. If you have any questions like Abhishek, which AI tool you use for a particular activity, I'm more than happy to let you all know in the comment section. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.